मेरी है दल लिटल लम लिटल लम लिटल लम मेरी है दल लिटल लम विद फ्लीज लाइक अस वेट अस नो हाउ आर यू आर यू ओके इट्स अ टीचर एंड अन सेटर वेलकम टू इजी अलीमो लर्निंग सिंपलीफाइड द क्लॉक फेस टीचर वी स्टिल हैव अनदर क्लॉक फेस यस इट्स गुड व्हेन यू हैव बोथ ऑफ देम वी सेड ऑन अ क्लॉक फेस वी हैव टू थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू नो ऑन अ क्लॉक फेस वी हैव two things that we need to know this clock face has the it has numbers are you seeing the numbers the numbers are how many the numbers are 12 and we are saying the clock face has how many faces it has two not faces two hands which one and which one the short hand and the long hand so we are saying this clock face each of the numbers the 12 numbers each one represents how many 5 minutes the intervals is 5 minutes so let's see this is our clock face and we are saying the intervals it is of the intervals of how many minutes 5 minutes between each when i'm counting from 12 i have 1 2 3 4 5 here is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 so our clock face is 60 it has an interval of 5 minutes and you're talking about two hands the long hand and the short hand the long hand represents the minute hand and the short hand represents the hour hand so what do we say about the clock face this clock face has one thing in when the this minute hand moves from 12 it goes like that it moves in the clockwise direction moves around moves around like that as it counts when you count until you come back to this we say it has covered 1 hour and if it has covered 1 hour you will see the small hand move a little and if it moves a little it means it has covered 1 hour and how how long has the short hand gone it has gone for 60 minutes for it to make the hour so we are saying one hour is equals to how many is equals to 60 minutes why when i count all these intervals like this it moves around like this it will give me 60 minutes another thing about the clock face we're saying a clock face is divided into four main parts the upper one here is called the o'clock then here we talk about the half past then here we talk about the quarter if i'm given this orange and i'm told share this orange into four equal parts i will cut it into four equal parts that is the same way our clock face is it is divided into four equal parts so i will share this if i share like this what did we say do you remember fractions we said this is a half and this is a half but now if i divide this the fourth time it becomes a quarter a quarter a quarter a quarter so if someone as if i walk if i use this time and the minute hand moves from here up to here this one is not a half because i have not reached here this one will be a half a quarter this part from here up to here will be a quarter then again i cover another quarter but when i reach here it now has will have covered what a half then i move i have now covered a half and another quarter which becomes 
quarter so it becomes quarter remaining a quarter to reach the 12 are we together so what happens we are saying the time that is on this side any time that is in that past we are talking about past the hour it has passed the hour it is past the hour any time that is between this one two three four five six it is past the hour and any time that is on this side it is to the hour it is to the hour meaning it's just remaining something small for you to reach the hour we have realized that one hour is equals to 60 minutes so when i say it is past the hour it has passed the hour it is now going and when it reaches this side the green part it shows that we are heading to the hour where are you going i'm going to school i have not reached the school but i'm going to to school assuming this is the yellow chair the yellow chair is in the gate of the school where are you going i'm going to school have i reached the school no i have not reached the school but where have you where have you where are you i am past the school because i have passed the school so we are saying when it is here it is past the hour when it has passed 12 it has passed the hour but when it is going towards 12 it is going to the hour okay so when you're told telling time using past the hour and to the hour it is very easy now assuming that my clock face my long hand is at three <coughs> and my short hand is where my short hand is almost something just next to five it has it has just passed five a little what can you say that time is what will you say you will say it is 15 minutes to past what 15 minutes past five that is saying past the hour what is the time it is 15 minutes past the hour so it is past five but when the, this long hand comes on this side it becomes to the hour how many minutes are remaining when i'm here the remaining one two three one two three so this is five ten fifteen so the remaining 15 minutes to the hour are we together are we communicating so when you talk about the clock face you're saying the clock, clock face is divided into two main parts past the hour and to the hour the brown part shows past the hour and the green part shows to the hour so any number any time you tell time on this side it should be to the hour and any time you talk about time on this side it should be past the hour is that okay so we are said a clock face is divided into how many two halves this is a half and this is a half and we are saying along the line we have 12 to 6 are you seeing that is to the hour past the hour and the the time the other time is 6 to 12 which is past the it is to the hour the 12 to 6 is past the hour and 6 to 12 is to the hour so anytime you're given time for example now i am here my time shows it is the long the lo the short hand is at seven then this one is at 12 we say it is to the hour then this side we are saying it is past the hour the long hand is at the long hand is at three the short hand is at it is next to four so we are saying it is past the hour okay so you understand and anytime you are writing the alphabet you say p q r s t so you will learn that p comes first before t on the alphabet so one two three four five cannot be t they will start with one two three four five as p then you go p q r s t to the hour is that okay it was nice seeing you and i hope i will see you in the next lesson thank you